boom monday is here and you know what that means actually today is tuesday and i'm gonna talk about raw last night's raw and it was a banger i don't know uh if i can say anything better besides this but uh let's just jump ju 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 let's just jump into it first off the show opened with Sami Zayn versus Damien Priest I don't know why that match was there I guess because they're trying to promote their feud that it's gonna happen at payback the Judgment Day versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in a street fight and I don't understand why they're doing it in a street fight if they don't want anyone from the Judgment Day to interfere but it is what it is. The match between Sami Zayn and Damian Priest was good. JD McDonough interfered to help Priest, but Priest is too mad for some reason and he cannot accept JD McDonough's help. The guy was just helping. He was not even trying to enter the judgment day. I don't know what is his problem. And as I said, I think at some point JD McDonough is going to be part of the judgment day. So I don't know why we're just waiting, you know. LA Knight came out. Nope, 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 nope. The Miz came out as LA Knight and he was doing a great impression of LA Knight and basically he was hyping their match at Payback. I'm excited to see what they're gonna bring to the table. Yeah! After that we had the New Day versus the Viking Raiders. Basically that whole thing I feel like it's promoting McCriddle or the Sword and the Stone. I don't know what their tag team is called but it's amazing of Matt Riddle and Drew McIntyre. The next Raw we're gonna have a tornado tag team match with Riddle and McIntyre versus the Viking Raiders. I feel like after that we're gonna have a triple threat tag match. And it's gonna be awesome and I can't wait for that and finally the Viking Raiders are looking strong finally after the 6-3 branding it works somehow please don't break it but at the same time make McCriddle look strong I don't know how after that we had Chad Gable versus Ludwig Kaiser and uh, there was some exchange of words between Chad Gable and Gunther prior the match and the match itself was great uh, I don't remember exactly who won, but at the end, everyone attacked Chad Gable. And at the moment before Gunther was about to powerbomb Gable, he turned it around into an ankle lock. And it was, it was awesome. It, was kinda, it is kind of sad that we're not going to see their feud in a pay-per-view, which means that Chad Gable is probably going to lose because Gunther is going to defend the title on Raw. But this is exactly what I said the last time, so I don't know now. If Chad Gable wins, I'm gonna be more than happy, but if Gunther retains, I'm gonna understand. After that, the Seth Rollins and the Shinsuke Nakamura segment, beautiful, beautiful. These video packages from Nakamura are the masterpiece. I don't know if this is the work that people have seen prior in 2018 when I started watching again WWE or this is some new shtick but I like this side of Nakamura I like the video packages I like that feud and I hope that feud doesn't end with that match I want at least trilogy because Nakamura deserves it I feel like we are not gonna give the title to Nakamura but at least he deserves a trilogy where we are gonna be like okay he's not good enough for the title but at least he got a good spotlight on him next up we had Tommaso Ciampa versus Big Bronson Reed and I don't I feel like since Tommaso Ciampa have returned all of his matches are starting like with some sneak back attack before the match Tommaso Ciampa won but the finisher was a little bit scuffed and you can see on his face that He's not really happy with the result of the match. I mean, the result was okay, but the exact finish of the match. Uh, but I guess we're going to see in the future what exactly will happen with the Master Champa, with Big Bronze Reed and all of that stuff. After that, we had a little bit of a preview of Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Rodriguez at Payback. As I said numerous times, at least five times now, I'm really excited to see that fight. Raquel Rodriguez is the 
only woman on the roster that is bigger than Rhea and I'm actually really excited to see them brawl because I have seen it in NXT. I know that they're both trained by, by the same person, Scotty to Hottie, and I'm excited to see what these two ladies are gonna cook. The same situation with Shinsuke applies. Rodriguez won't get the title, but at least give her two, three chances. Make this a legendary feud, at least. Last but not least, Becky Lynch versus Zoe Stark. False count anywhere match. As I said last week, I was expecting Trish Stratus to interfere. She interfered. In the end, Becky Lynch won because Zoe Stark made a mistake and she hit Trish Stratus by accident and she put her through a table, basically. And after that, the man, Becky Lynch, put Zoe Stark through the table and she won because it's false count anywhere and they were out, outside the ring and uh, anyway. Numerous times said this, I'm really excited to see this feud ending, can't wait. If you have asked me which matches are you gonna skip at Payback, if you have asked me two months ago, I would have said Trish and Becky, but right now I should watch it because I know it's ending, I know it's the last one and I want to watch it, I want to see how it ends. And is this a good storytelling? because I'm invested, because I want to see how it ends? No, because I want it to end, not because I want to see how it ends, more than I want it to end finally. Did you hear that? I want it to end. Don't continue it in any shape or form, except Lita is back. Then you, you might continue it. Maybe from then on, Trish can turn on Zoe, because they basically slapped each other last night so basically you can do Trish versus Zoe. I feel like Zoe has a lot of potential in her and I feel like Trish can give a lot of spotlight to Zoe and how talented she is really. But Zoe you need to level up your promo before that. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace. And by the way the quality I know it's a little bit scuffed but my sleep schedule is kind of ruined um, because of the last few days and I'm not being able to watch the show in proper times, to record the video in proper times, to edit the video. So, for the next couple of days, the quality is gonna be a little bit scuffed. Sorry about this, but I still love you and I'm still gonna see you in the next one.